Not you. A long time ago, in a small town, there lived an old toy maker named Capito. He used to make wooden toys and sell them. One day, he decided to create beautiful puppet boy. Capito searched for a fine log in the forest and soon find a small pine log. He started to curve. Capito finally finished the beautiful puppet toy. Capito finally finished the beautiful puppet boy. He named him. He made him sit on the chair and started to clean up. He heard a strange voice and saw the puppet dancing and talking. Capito took the puppet in his arm and named him Pinocchio. Gepetto and Pinocchio started to have happy time together. It was time for Pinocchio to go out to his bed. Gepetto didn't have money to buy Pinocchio his school stationery. So he sold the old coat and gave the money to Pinocchio. He took the money and went to the school with joy. Suddenly, he saw a crowd ahead. He slowly managed to make his way to the front to find what it was. He saw a big colorful tent. It was a circus tent. Pinocchio gave the money to the clown and entered the circus. The circus owner saw him dancing in the crowd. He got hold of him and locked him in the cage. Pinocchio started to cry, regretting his mistake. Suddenly, a fairy appeared and released him from the cage. She gave back his money and warned him not to do the same mistake again. Pinocchio was on the way to the school again. Seeing Pinocchio with money, the cunning fox and his friend Kate stopped him and asked him where he was going. Pinocchio said he was going to buy a school stationery. The fox said, this money is not enough to buy it. Give your money, let's plant it in the magical garden and get more money. Poor Pinocchio gave the money to the fox. The fox and the cat left the place. He was standing alone for a long time. The fairy appeared and asked Pinocchio about the money. Pinocchio said, I kept my money stationary at school. As soon as Pinocchio finished his sentence, his nose started to grow. The fairy asked him, Are you saying the truth? The Pinocchio kept on lying his nose and started growing. Finally, Pinocchio realized his mistake and told what happened. As he told the truth, the fairy brought his nose back to normal. He said, I am forgiving you because you told the truth and gave back the money the fox had taken. And she once more warned him not to waste this money. Pinocchio started to walk and on the way, he saw the circus owner, he was very angry with Pinocchio. He wanted to punish him. He caught the Pinocchio and threw him into the sea. Pinocchio started to swim towards the shore. Suddenly, he was swallowed by again the whale. Geppetto was worried about Pinocchio. He went out to search for him. He heard from fishermen that Pinocchio fell into the sea. He was so worried, he borrowed a small boat from fishermen and went into the sea. In the middle of the sea, the big wave hit the boat and Capito fell into the sea. He was old and does know to swim, but he drowned. At that very moment, the big whale that swallowed Pinocchio swallowed Capito too. He went straight into the stomach. He saw Pinocchio crying there. Pinocchio hugged Capito in tears. He said, sorry for not obey him. Suddenly, the fairy appeared and 
and rescued them. After that, Mochio became a very clever boy and always listened to his father. He went to school every day and after school, he ran home to help his father in his workshop.